Movies that are out, we've already mentioned The Automat. Yeah, so The Automat, which is on Prime. This is a documentary by Lisa Hurwitz, written by Michael Levine. It tells the story of, and forgive you probably wouldn't. Do you know what Horn and Hardart is? Horn and Hardart. Hardart. Is it um, a shop in Harry Potter? No, but you're right, it should have been. Sounds like it. Restaurant chain in America, stylish emporia, where food was accessed through vending machines, through glass doors with chrome around the outside. So you go in, basically what you would do is you'd put a couple of uh, coins in the slot, you'd see the food behind the thing, you'd open it and you would take it out. First one opened in Philadelphia in 1902, then expanded to New York around 1912. The last one closed in the early 90s. So it's, you know, a, a century of history. Apparently, and this is this was all largely news to me because you know I had never encountered one. Grew in popularity through the Depression era. Their favourite uh, dishes being baked beans, mac and cheese, and creamed spinach, alongside their famous coffee. Okay, which kind of fits quite nicely. And uh, this is a lovely. I mean, it's such a lovely documentary following the rise and fall of the chain, including interviews with famous patrons, most notably. Mel Brooks. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're on board already. Okay? Yes, absolutely. So Mel Brooks remembering how much he loved the coffee coming out of these sort of silver dolphin spouts. You'd put the money in and you'd have the thing and then the coffee would come out. Talking about how he and Carl Reiner would meet at the Automat. He loved the coffee. Carl Reiner loved the pie. Here is a clip featuring the Excellent. great Mel Brooks. One of the greatest inventions and insane centers of paradise were these places that had little glass windows framed in brass with knobs. And if you put two nickels into the slot next to the windows, the windows would open up. And you could take out a piece of lemon meringue pie for 10 cents. Now, it's a it's a brief clip, but even just watching that, I immediately want to go to an automat and start. It sounds like it was ahead of its time. You know, I'd have thought that's a, so, great, it's a okay. great idea, isn't so it? So here's the thing. So very early on, Mel Brooks tells the filmmakers, being very Mel Brooks, he, say, he says, look, you know, make, make the whole, focus on me. Make me a spearhead for this Meshuggah idea that you've got. And he, say, he says, if you do a good job, I will write and perform the title song, which... At the end of the documentary, he does. Great. And there is this song that he sings with an orchestra. It goes, there was nothing like the coffee at the automat. And it's been going round and round my head ever since. And I now want to download it and have it on my phone. You get um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg talking about how all classes and creeds would, would meet there. It's a very democratic way of getting food because it was good food at affordable prices. Elliot Gould, remembering the freshness of the food and the fact that if you're working in the theatres, there was a you know one of the automats just around the corner. Colin Powell talking about his early memories of you know the thrill of opening the glass and you know getting the piece of pie, getting the pudding. And in the middle of it all, the guy who founded Starbucks – saying the first time he ever walked into an automat, he fell in love and wow. thought, this is what I want to do. And apparently in his office, he has a poster of one of the original automats on the wall because he literally says that's where the idea came from. And it, it's such a charming piece. I mean, on the one hand, it's got this kind of, well, the, the nostalgia. You saw that lovely black and white clip and they, you know, they have turned up in film and TV, but it's also kind of, Proustian remembrance because a lot of it is about food and people talking about how how they love the lemon meringue pie, how they love the you know the cream spinach, how the particular taste of the coffee. And there's a lovely bit quite far on in which it turns out that the coffee was so good that they were losing money on it <laughs> because they it was it was like you know the one nickel or whatever went in, but the coffee cost more than that. But that was their signature thing, and actually they had an advert about the fact that they couldn't figure out how to solve the problem of the coffee losing the money because everyone loved it. The design of the places, they're these kind of gleaming palaces, you know, clean, spacious tables, all, you know, all these different people meeting. And so there's all that, but it's also a social history document. I mean, it is also about the way in which the social history of America changed. I knew nothing about the subject. I mean, I heard of automats. I'd seen them on, you know, TV programs. I knew nothing about it. I came out at the end of it thinking, I wish there was one that was working now because I wants to go and get a piece of lemon meringue pie and a coffee out of a silver dolphin spout. I've always said that thing about the best kind of documentaries make you interested in and care about a subject about which you neither knew nor cared at all. Mm -hmm. It's just so charming. I mean, it was 
particularly at the moment, with everything that's happening in the world, if you want something that will just put a smile on your face... Which people do. Yeah, and make you feel a little bit hungry and a little bit nostalgic and ends with Mel Brooks singing a song about how much he loved the coffee at the Automat... This is for you. It's on Prime and it's, I can't recommend it highly enough. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. While you're here, check out all the other videos because they're cool too, aren't they? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date with everything Kermit and Mayo's take, then check out our social channels. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I have done. Excellent.